Reports suggest phony loan lenders are guaranteeing a quick loan with no upfront fees. Sounds enticing, right? Well, in the end, victims who provide their banking information to the scammers are left in the negative and scammed out of their money. The reports that we've had from consumers is that they're getting unsolicited communications from lenders saying that they're eligible for loans and, and varying amounts and that they need a bunch of information up front. And what's happening is they're given their credit card and bank account information to be able to have the funds given to them that they're having loaned. And what's happening is they're losing funds and having it falling into scammers' hands. Once you agree to the loan, that's when the scammers step in, taking your personal banking information to deposit the loan into your account via a check. Turns out the loan check is fake. When they deposit it in their account, the supposed lender is telling them that they need to purchase some insurance for the loan and different things. So they send money elsewhere. Two, three days later, the bank lets them know the check doesn't clear, the funds they sent are long gone, the loan was not real, and the financial institution was, was fake. These scammers use the identity of a business that can easily be verified online. This allows them to gain their target's trust. One of the, the scarier things with this type of loan is, of course, scammers are, are using reputable financial institutions' names. So when you search that institution to find out information, it is a reputable institution. The majority of the ones, it's random people that weren't even necessarily looking for any types of loans, but they received some type of email, in some cases text messages, or even social media messages claiming that they have a great offer on a new loan. Here are some tips from the BBB on how to avoid fake loan offers. Avoid unsolicited loan offers. Scammers use offers of quick cash to lure you in. Don't fall for it. Expect a credit check. These scams often prey on people who may not easily qualify for a loan. Verify the email address of the sender. The domain for the email address typically matches the domain of the provider's official website. And lastly, research loan providers. View ratings and reviews to see what other people are saying. For more on Ion Scams, download our Ion Scams podcast on 10 Talks Acadiana. It's available anywhere you listen to podcasts. We have a link to it on our website, klfy.com. In the studio, Sylvia Masters, KLFY News 10.